Hey everyone, good to see you again. I actually loaded up Steam this morning because I was going to go through the discussion of patch 1.5. I was going to look at everyone's comments and see if we could find any anything funny, but when I loaded up Steam, there was 1.5.1 here. So I thought, oh, let's take a quick look at these patch notes. Because they've obviously, every time there's a big patch, there's always like a little adjustment. Pretty common in games. But let's see what we've got. Version 1.5.1 has been released. Patch notes. Major fixes. Fixed various game crashes. They don't go into much detail. I hope that that's uh, crashes for people. Like I hear a lot of Xbox when you go into a dungeon, it crashes. Hopefully that's some of that kind of stuff. Uh, balance adjustments. Fixed a bug where breeding powers always had fixed passives. Uh, fixed an issue where increased in condensation progress was incorrect when using PAL of rank 2 or higher as a condensation material. It will increase by the number of PALs used in the previous condensation. They must have done something wrong there. That's talking about how you put in 4 and it becomes a 1 star. Then if you want to use that as a material for something higher, that 1 PAL counts as 4 PALs. They must have done something wrong now they've fixed that. So that's good. Dungeon issues. Fixed an issue where the innermost door would not open after defeating the boss of a random dungeon. That's a good fix. That's not what happened to me. One time I was in a dungeon and I went in and there just was no last boss. The last boss just wasn't there. The door was locked, but there was no last boss. My solution was to go out, get a pal that I could ride, and then summon it on the other side of the wall and just like clip my way through the wall. <laughs> And open the chest that way. Pals. Fixed an issue where the name of a pal would not change even after renaming them. I guess that's for Xbox. I never had that on PC. Uh, that might be an Xbox one, so that's cool. Uh, server issues. Fixed an issue where it was not possible to search for spaces or Japanese slash Chinese characters in the server list. Oh, that must be like when you're... Searching for server by name. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Fixed so that if the server is no longer registered on the server list, it will be re-registered without needing to restart the server. Fixed an issue where the settings to enable Archon were not loaded from the configuration file. I've seen the acronym Archon before, but I don't remember what it means. And then, of course, they're nice and wholesome. We will continue development, placing top priority on fixing major problems and issues. Thank you for your continued support of Power World. Awesome bunch. So, I'm doing it a little bit backwards, but since we're here, let's dive into the discussion of this one, because it's fresh, and then I'll have to go back to the previous one later, because this one's brand new, so I should probably do this. This is the discussion. This is the community comments for this patch. Number one is uh, just a string of numbers here. It just says, this game is trash. Stop sending us updates because we don't care. <laughs> How does he know about the updates, I wonder? Oh, interesting. And then we've got uh, another person here. A second update this week. Sadly, it's mostly bug fixes, which I didn't encounter. Good job regardless, though. Power devs do be earning their keep. Also, what the fuck, most of the people trashing the game don't even own it. Oh, how can they comment on it without owning it? I thought it would be like reviews. So you're allowed to just comment on this? Ooh. Ooh, that's not... I don't know about that. It doesn't seem very sensible. Some will call this a Pokemon ripoff. I'd argue this game capitalizes on Pokemon's lack of innovation and change to bring people the game they wish they had but never got. There is a clear inspiration from other titles but that doesn't have to be inherently a bad thing. No matter how you view the originality, you cannot deny that the game is simply fun, which at its core, all games should be. I'm gonna report this person for being too level-headed. Um, I really feel like in 2024, you need to firmly set your tent in one of two camps and you are never allowed to interact with the other side. Any fence sitters, straight to the chopping block. How dare they? If you like Pokemon, you are by law required to hate Power World and vice versa. I was once upon a time a Pokemon lover for 25 years. But you know what? Now Power Worlds came out. I hate Pokemon. Pikachu, get the hell out of here. 
I've got a pretty flat voice, so uh, just for clarity, that is a joke. I'm practicing my expressions, don't you worry. This is the same guy. This is this is pro soldier again. Oh. Oh, it's not the same guy. He just copy and pasted the same thing, but added a an extra fall guys a uh, fallout emoji. I don't know where I got fall guys from. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, it's him again. Don't add LGBT skins and pronouns. <laughs> what? There's no skins in the game and there's not even a place to put pronouns, so I don't think that's in the development track right now. Him again! How many times are you allowed to comment on one of these? Are you allowed to just keep spamming it? I love this game. It's great. Please pocket pair. Keep this game neutral. Don't make the mistake to add politics, LGBT, inclusive and woke stuff for liberty and freedom. <laughs> you goddamn right, brother. Better watch you out if Power World gets oil, though. Thanks for the update, Power World devs. Things we want in-game. More mini-games for limited time to encourage people to come back to the game. How's actually following the command prompts half the time they just stand there. Add costumes or hats to pals so people can be creative and show off their favorite pal. That's actually pretty funny. Keep up the in-game and much love. Don't listen to the trolls baiting points. I'm sure the devs are not reading this and thinking to themselves, damn, we were about to add... LGBT skins, but now we're not gonna because it's gonna piss off this pro soldier guy. Oh shit. The the minigame thing, that could be interesting. I don't think it's gonna encourage people to come back to the game though. I think people will come back to the game when there's another major content release. Because all games have like a like a wave of uh, players. Look at something like World of Warcraft. They bring out a new patch, people come back. A month later, people have finished all the stuff they want to check out, so they all bail. And they go play something else for a little while, and then that game gets a little bit dull, so then they go play something else. There's no uh, there's no need to remain loyal to one game forever, it's fine. Please add Vaporeon, Lucario, Mewtwo, and Lickitung, TY. My spirit is willing and my flesh is ready. <laughs> oh no. Thank you so much for these fixes. Studios like you give me hope towards the gaming industry. Please keep political agendas out of this game. I don't understand what political agendas they could inject into the game. Are they going to make it like the, the different factions that you fight are supposed to be like representative of different governments or something? How would that work? How would they even get them in there? Ooh, desperately needing some fixes for hackers who can despawn bases, steal your name, take your pals. Otherwise, nobody should be playing non-password protected community servers. Is this still an issue? This is posted one hour ago. I was kind of hoping that would have been fixed with the server server issue thing. This person as well saying, please fix, because they're, they're destroying bases. Interesting. So happy there's a fun game out there that has no woke BS in it. Keep up the good work. Man, people are so concerned about this, about the wokeness invading Power World. <laughs> oh no, this guy. Wear sex with lavender update. <laughs> no, not the scaly lizard. Oh God, that's, that's no good. What is happening here? Please add a report button for those that are preying on children with sexually charged gender falsities. What does that mean? What what is this, what does that mean? I need to Google. This guy says, "Man, I wish we had new content, maybe a new boss or something. The community will greatly appreciate it." I disagree. I think it would not be sensible to just trickle in one boss at a time think for new content they should save it all up and then in six months or so give us a massive massive update you don't want to trickle in one new boss at a time i don't think that's the play bug fixes prioritize bug fixes get the game looking nice get the game playing nice and then big big patch you know the 2.0 patch in six months or something like that and it's just massive a whole new map a whole new bosses everything give people a reason to like come back to the game. Don't just give one extra activity for people who are still playing it. No one's gonna like 
jump back on Power World and revisit their old save from a month ago. No one's going to do that for one new boss. I disagree with this one. Person says, so many bots farming points. What the heck? They're on other game patch notes too. They immediately post when the update post pops out. So they're always the first and it's always copy pasted garbo. Is there an advantage to like having these awards and these steam points? What does that get you? Can you convert them into money or something? Oh, this person's a genius. Glad I bred a bunch of dudes with the legend perk while it was bugged. Ooh, that's smart. So it was just a recent, recent bug or something? Okay. Nice. <laughs> Dead game already fixed the glitches already. They're working on it. Give them a chance. Oh yeah, please fix single shot rifle icon and the double barrel shotgun icon in the tech list overview. That screwed me up too. I made the single shot and I thought it was going to be something different. Then I pulled it out. I was like, what is this? <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, there was some some interesting stuff there. Some nice updates that they've, that they've had. Hello, Harley. You want to come say hello as well? Come on. She gets shy. Come and say hello. All right, fine. I come to my stream if you if you uh, want to see her. She's always she's always running around on the stream. She comes and jumps on me and steals my whole chair. Yeah, these patch notes and comments pretty interesting. Uh, maybe I don't need to go back and do the other one because I'm sure it's going to be pretty similar, or at least the the hate. Stuff will probably be similar. I'll take a quick look and just see if there is any significantly different ones. But if there's not, then I'll go back and I'll look at probably some of the Helldivers 2 uh, updates because I saw somewhere that they're getting absolutely review bombed right now because the devs had said something that, that made people upset. So that's always nice. We love to see people getting outraged over stuff that just does not matter in the greater scheme of things. So, yeah, that's always fun to look at. I'll keep my eye out on that. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, I will see you pretty soon. If they keep updating this game every day, then I guess I'm just going to be making videos every day. So, yeah, I don't only do Power World. It's just that Power World is hot right now. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.